most accomplished finisher in UFC history. The title defenses are starting to mount up. Gaethje believes he has made the adjustments, and we'll see if he can get his hand raised here tonight. If anybody can make those adjustments, it's Trevor Whitman. Yeah, adjustments. Yeah. They're going to go back in the lab, and they're going to watch that fight a hundred times and find the route to victory. That's a very honorable thing to do. Unfortunately, in Charles Oliveira, it doesn't seem like there's a clear path to beating this man. He possesses all the skills. He's a very good fighter. He's tremendous, and his mentality is what truly is making him become this world beater that we have seen in his last performances. Fast pace here in the early going. He turned his entire body into that uppercut, and it landed exactly as he was hoping. Nice transition. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. All right, he's in a half guard position here, DC, and in a good spot to dole out a lot of damage, I would think. A lot of damage can be done from the half guard. You sit back on that leg, you press down into your opponent, you drop elbows, you drop punches. What is very key is you controlling the underhook on the far side. If you give up that underhook, your opponent can use the half guard to build up to an elbow, sweep, or just chase down a single leg. A jab is there for Gacy. All right, so now we start to see some redness underneath the elbow. You got to think he's going to continue to attack the body with all of his strikes. Well, his opponent has not done anything to deter him. He should keep doing this, keep going to the well until he... He's had a huge strike right there. I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot that he landed. Great job. Oh, good head movement there. Nice slip. That shot blocked by Oliveira. Oh, nice jab by him there. And I guess on the other side, hard to get your offense going when your head keeps getting snapped back like a Pez dispenser. Every time he tries to go forward and use his own offense, the jab is stopping him in his tracks. He's doing a great job of fighting behind him. 26 total strikes have landed for Justin Gaethje. Oh, misses with the jab. Oh, back and forth. Oh, another beautiful body shot there. You see the damage starting to accumulate. Maybe some defense would be wise at this point in the fight. I think so, John. You can't just get beat up to the body. It doesn't show itself right away. It takes He landed it perfectly. Perfect placement. Perfect position. What a huge blow in a big moment in this fight. So a strong five minutes down. All right, there's the horn, an appreciative crowd responding in kind. He rocked his opponent multiple times there in that round, looked very confident in doing so. They might even bring in the RP here. I mean, he was, it was relaxation at its finest, just so relaxed, so comfortable in the fire, which then allowed him to land these big strikes that had his opponent buzz on many, many occasions. But he cannot get desperate. Don't go crazy trying to finish the fight. Let it come to you. All right, there's the end of the round. So it was a huge strike to the head that stunned his opponent and, and nearly got him out of there. Yeah, that was a big moment. A big strike lands. His opponent's on wobbly legs. That is exactly what, what you want to see as you're walking back to your stool. Your opponent staggering back to his corner and being hopeful that he can get it back together before the start of the next round. Well, nice job by Gaethje to land and then roll with the punches. We talk a lot about his legendary chin, but maybe... <laughs> Him, but couldn't finish him. He rocked him. He hurt him bad. He couldn't find that one shot to close the door. Could not shut the lights off. And now, has to try to find that shot again. Well, informed speculation says he's going to try to set up another hook here. Well, this fight's been pretty crazy thus far. Both guys doling out a lot of damage, and neither seems too bothered by it, but clearly both parties are hurt. Both guys are hurt. Both guys are fighting beautifully. Both are showing a lot of heart right now in this fight. They're both doing amazing jobs. Let's see who gets the job done at the end of this thing. 
three minutes. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fighter a little bit. Lesson one in boxing class, hands up, chin down. Well, it looks as though that strike maybe opened up a cut around the eye area. Yeah, it looks like that strike opened up a cut, John, but it's nothing to worry about now, but he's got to start to protect him. So we have crossed the midpoint in this one. Punch to the body is blocked. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. Oh, just... Oh, well-placed shot there, DC. He is officially rough. A big, massive hook that really has put his opponent on skates. Well, DC kind of just playing with him at this point. Like, I think he's got to go in and just get him out of there. Well, he's trying, but he gets a little bit angry. He's throwing a lot of punches and not the right punches. And because he's throwing so much, he keeps missing. And by doing that, he's missed some chances to end this fight. Oh, he smells blood in the water. Gotta start looking for the finish here. 